What's up everyone, Steven here with TechMaker. This is the third episode in our uh, series, little mini-series on Chainlink VRF. In this episode, we're actually gonna go ahead and deploy our contract that we've been working on up to Rinkby and give it a try. Uh, so, and it shouldn't take too long. I, I did a little testing offline just to make sure I wasn't going crazy. And it does work, um, so, but let's, let's give it a shot and I'll show you everything you need to do in order to get this going. And uh, yeah, so let's just dive in. So the first thing we need to do is jump back over into our code. And one thing I had done to test is I had changed the name of the token. Um, you can really call this whatever you want, but we need to rename a few things. And I'm gonna rename it again, just so that when we look at my MetaMask, we don't get confused. So I think I'm gonna rename this to be Razzle, just to stick with the same little naming theme here. So we've had Zazzle, Razzle, and Dazzle all together. I did the Dazzle one offline, so you didn't see that one. Uh, so we'll do Razzle and Razzle. And so that gets this contract updated just fine, but we also need to fix our deploy script over here. So we'll say uh, Razzle equals Razzle, da 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 da, and then we need to deploy Razzle. Okay, so uh, if for this next part, it is going to be important that you actually watched the um, the episode on how to deploy things to Rinkby. Otherwise, what we're about to do won't work. And that episode, um, I'll I'll link to it in the description. But it was like three episodes ago, and this is should have been the second episode in this playlist. If you found this via the playlist, okay. So let's jump over to the terminal. And the uh, well, first thing I'm gonna do is just say truffle compile. And again, if you watch that video and followed along all the way up till now, or the series of videos, you shouldn't have any issues here. Um, but you know, anyway, so next step, uh, what we need to do is actually deploy this thing to Rinkby where we're gonna manually test it. And I decided like, I'm just gonna try to manually test this, which I did a little bit offline just to make sure it works. Um, in the next episode, I may or may not make one more episode where we actually like update the test and try to automate some of this stuff. Um, but we'll see. I haven't fully decided yet. So um, anyway, let's get this going. So truffle deploy, and then we can say network is rink B, which we had done in that earlier episode I mentioned a few times now. Uh, so this is gonna take a minute. I'm just gonna watch it for just a second. Um, everything is up to date. There's nothing to compile. Um, something didn't go right there. Um, razzle, razzle. Uh, let's see here. We might need to do a reset. Um, maybe I didn't save again. If that's the case, um, <laughs> that's getting kind of ridiculous if you've been following along. Um, okay, so let's see. Everything's up to date, nothing to compile. Maybe I can do like a reset flag. Is that something I can do? Because uh, I kind of just want to deploy this fresh. Okay, cool. So it looks like we're actually starting from scratch now and we're going to deploy all this stuff. So it looks like we got our migrations out there and uh, the next thing will be to get our token so this is gonna take just a minute I'm gonna pause the video and uh, come back on in a second okay so we got an error could not find artifacts for razzle from any sources um, and I just see what I did I did not change the name of the contract to razzle so you got to update that as well so basically you've got the name and the ERC 20 You've got the actual ticker we need to update, or symbol, and then you've got the contract name here. Then you've got over here, you need to import at the top with the correct names, and then down here in the deployer. So that should be everything now. So let's just try to run this now without the reset and see, because that should basically just leave our, the, the deploy, or the, yeah, the deployer script alone, um, and just skip right on over to Razzle. Okay, 
uh, the migration script, sorry, migration contract. I'm trying to figure out that word, okay. Um, so yeah, this should take a minute maybe. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause here. And uh, well, actually now we see some stuff popping out so I can keep keep talking. So basically you can see that it's deployed and now we're just waiting on some confirmations. So we've got the contract address here, we've got the block number, so on and so forth. So, and then we got the account who deployed it, how much ETH I have in that account. And again, this is all on the test net, how much, uh, how much it costs us, so on and so forth. Um, so this contract address is what we're gonna need to give link to. So I'm gonna show you in just a second how to get link. So basically, what this is is a token contract, right? So I should have in my 0x223 account, I should have a million Razzle now. So the first thing I'm going to do is add this to my MetaMask and see if that's the case. So let's just, uh, you know what, let's do like an expanded view um, MetaMask here. Okay, so I'm in TechMaker Testing 2. I need to be in testing okay and so you see i've been testing with zazzle and dazzle um so let's add a new token and i'm going to paste that address in there and you can see our token symbol coming in razzle and i've got one million yeah i was about to say that it looks like 10 million but my eyes are just crossing from staring at the screen all day um right yeah okay anyway so we got a million razzle and if we tried to send it right now it wouldn't work and the reason is like we need chain link in our contract um, because if we look back over at the Razzle contract, uh, we have this fee. And then in order for this to work with chain link, we have to request randomness and pass along that fee. So how do we do that? Well, there's uh, a way to get free link on Rinkby. So you go to Rinkby link faucet and you tell it the address that you want to send link to. So you can do this a couple of ways. Um, you can just copy your address here and paste it. And one, you could do it this way, and another way you could do it, I guess technically, is actually just paste the contract address in here. I'm gonna do the two-step process and say send me 100 test link. And that's gonna take just a second you can see over here, I've got 90. So, okay, the other thing too, in order to see the link in your uh, wallet, right? So what you gotta do is actually add that address and you can get that if you search for uh, chain link, uh, rink B address. You could also do it by clicking on the transaction and coming in here and uh, clicking on chain link token, and then you have this contract address here. So you could do it that way. You can also just Google and find it. Um, there's this docs chain link thing, and you can come down here to rank B and see that's the same address as that 0x01B. So anyway, you get the idea. So if we click back on our MetaMask, I have 190 link now. So what I'm gonna do is come back over here really quick, grab this contract address, um, and now we just need to send some link to that contract. So if we come over here to our link and we say we're gonna send some link to this address and it says known contract address because it's a smart contract. Um, and we can send it like 10 link and that would give us enough to do what? 100 transactions because it's 0.1 is the fee. Uh, yeah, so that's fine. We don't need to do much more than that. Um, so we'll go next, confirm, that'll take just a second. Um, so again, like if you, you're gonna need obviously ether as well to send uh, stuff around. So check back in the, uh, I think it was that first or second episode in this series that we did. We sh I showed you how to do like, um, like use the ether faucet as well. Okay, cool. So now we have our 10 links should be in the contract. So the one last thing I want to do, and just make sure I have this thing still copied, is go ahead and switch over to TechMaker Testing 2 and add this token here as well so that we can see 
if and when we get any. And you'll notice I actually sent myself a little bit of my fake ether over here uh, so that I can send tokens back and forth. Okay, so what should happen when we send tokens is we should get a random portion of the total. So let me show you what I mean. So we'll send Razzle. So I'm just gonna, you know what? I didn't do that well. I need to copy the testing to address. I'm gonna send some to testing to from testing. And um, is Razzle right? Okay. So we'll send, um, let's say we're gonna send a hundred or a thousand. It really doesn't matter. Uh, so we're going to send a thousand razzle next. What's funny is this ERC thing is fully integrated into MetaMask and so it has expected behavior. And so it's really looking like we're about to transfer a thousand razzle. Um, so we'll confirm this. And, you know, over here it's even updating and saying minus a thousand razzle and all this stuff. Um, but yeah, it's, it's going to be funny when this thing finishes. So let's kind of, uh, it's kind of a little bit hard to just talk over nothing happening, but I'm going to sit here so we can kind of watch it. Uh, hopefully this doesn't take too long. So now we've got this contract that has been executed. So let's go look at this. So the sort of difficult thing here is it's a little harder to follow the transaction uh, than on just a straight up uh, ERC20 transaction because we submit the transaction and you'll see that there's in a second when this thing finishes, you'll see that there's a chain link interaction, uh, but you don't actually see anything past that. So you don't see token transfers or anything like that. So you kind of lose it. So here's what I mean. So you can basically see we transferred 0.1 to to link to chain link, uh, or what does it say? Yeah. So we just, we transferred back in 0.1 link. Um, we see the contract interaction, but you don't see anything about the actual token transfer. So let's come back over here to MetaMask. Um, now you can see this is like, it took 330,000 Razzle from us, it looks like. So if we come back over here to testing two, 330,000 Razzle, let's send some back. Um, I got a get better at copying these addresses while I'm here. So we'll copy that address. And um, we will go to, so we're gonna switch over to testing two. And we're gonna send some back to the other address here. And again, it doesn't matter what you put because it's just, it's just gonna use that as that seed number for the random generator, but then after that, it's just taking a random percent of the stack. So this is kind of funny. Um, I could see how you could use a function kind of like this in you know various like gambling contexts or something like that, like if you want to build a gambling game. So anyway, we'll wait and kind of see what happens to the balance here because it's funny. Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, kind of cool. So that's essentially how you use the Chainlink uh, VRF system. So we got a success there. Um, let's go back over here to MetaMask, see what my balance goes to. Should take a second. Cool, so we've got 194,700 Razzle left. I did the math over here really quick and that's about 41%, it's exactly 41%. So that was our random number, would have been 41. Uh, think and then the other direction we would have had I guess 33 right um, so yeah it's kind of cool so we sent 33% of the stack the first time and then we sent 41% going the other direction um, so yeah it's cool um, it's really probably not that useful but like I said in games it might be kind of fun so uh, anyway that's pretty much it for this episode as I said I think I might come back and do uh, some upgrades to the tests and get all of that working again but I'm actually not 100% sure yet. Uh, I might be kind of done with this, but anyway, I think we got somewhere kind of cool. Like I was saying before, um, we're gonna do kind of some sort of NFT game that's gonna involve chain link uh, randomness, which is why I wanted to do this little experiment just to make sure I knew how it worked. And now I've got my head around it quite a lot better. Um, 
So anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you found this helpful. And uh, if you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel because we got way more content coming out. And I'll be talking to you soon.